So everybody knows people that have an illness or a disease, and for me it was my mother. So she was born with a congenitally shortened esophagus, um, and she had a lot of really bad health complications growing up because of that. So I was kind of born into a world where I was constantly reminded because of her health problems um, uh, why research was important. Um, so it always made me want to go to, into research just because I know that you can you know, cure an entire disease possibly with research um, and really impact the world for the rest of time. So I'm really interested in regenerative medicine and stem cell therapy. Um, so that's actually what our lab is focused on. Um, so I was lucky enough here, there's a really great stem cell center. Well, we of course get great um, classes that teach us about science and everything that we need to know to be a great scientist. But one of the strengths I think of Baylor that really puts it above um, any other school is how much emphasis there is in learning how to present well and how to write well. Because you can't be a good scientist, whether you want to stay in academia or go into industry, you need to, need to have those skills. Um, so being at Baylor, you're constantly put in the front, forefront, giving presentations, either poster presentations or um, going to conferences that are local within the school or in Houston or um, international conferences as well. I love Houston, I, but I grew up here, you know, not too far from here. So I interviewed everywhere in Baylor. I just knew it was a great institute, so I interviewed here because I just knew that. And I kind of wanted to go, you know, New York City or explore the world because I'm young. But um, at the end of the day, it's just the best place, you know, and um, you're here to uh, get great training and become a great scientist, so um, I just knew that Baylor was the place I had to be. The Texas Medical Center is the largest medical center in the world, and Baylor is one of the most uh, world-renowned and prestigious institutes. Um, but at the same time, it's also a very friendly and collaborative environment. Um, so here, it doesn't feel like one of those you know, more stuffy places. You can just go talk to anybody about research. It's very um, laid back and friendly. I think that when you come here and interview, you'll just uh, you'll be able to see the collaborativeness of the environment. You'll be able to see the relationships that uh, students have with each other and with faculty. So um, go where you feel is best, but I think Baylor speaks for itself.